My name is Mindy and today we're going to be talking about simplified configurations. Simplified configurations removes all detail features that aren't required to use the components in an assembly. This can be helpful in large assemblies where detail is not needed to continue working. These can be things like fillets, threads, chamfers, really any detail work. Here we have a burner from a gas grill. We want to simplify the assembly by suppressing all detailed fillets and holes on our top burner part. First we want to open the part and create a new configuration called Simplified. To do this, right click your part, click Open Part, go to your Configuration Manager, right click, Add Configuration, and name it Simplified. Now we want to suppress all of our detail features. So we'll go back to our feature design tree and suppress our fillets. And then we want to suppress our holes. Now we can save and close our part. Now we want to put all of our simplified configurations into our top level assembly. This is where magic happens. We want to create a new configuration in the top level assembly called Simplified. Again, you're going to go to your configuration manager, right click, add configuration, and name it Simplified. Now, all we want to do is make sure that this configuration is the one chosen, save our assembly, and close it. Now we want to open that assembly back up, so click your open. Just highlight your assembly, don't double click. Down in your configurations drop down, we want to choose advanced and then click open. This will pop up this configure document dialog box. We want open current selected configuration. Checked. This is why we saved our assembly on the simplified configuration. Then we want to check this box that says use specified configuration for part references when available and that configuration name we want to make sure is simplified. This will pull all simplified configurations of all the parts in the assembly. Now we click OK. And as you can see, our simplified configuration does not have the fillets or the holes. And if we go back to our default, it does. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Thanks for watching CAD Dimensions Tech Tips. We hope to see you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.